Welcome back, guys. Uh, so, uh, continuing what's been coming out of uh, San Diego Comic Con, like I said, that came out of this year's San Diego Comic Con, it was announced that I'm going to talk about two more things that are coming out of, especially the DC Cinematic Universe, in a sense. Uh, we're going to get another Batman movie, a standalone Batman movie, written, co written, directed by Ben Affleck. He's going to continue to be. Um, that's good. So, and it's going to be he and Jeff Johns co-writing it. Now, that's all good and dandy. I'm I'm fine with that. You know, I'm kind of glad that there's been some kind of some distance. You know, with a bat, a standalone Batman movie. You know, and me and more that this will be a part of the DC cinematic universe and not. A part of like its separate universe in a sense uh, I'm happy about that you know I'm like okay but the question you probably asked yourself is you know who would you want to see be the villain in this Chris? Uh, that's always been a tough one for me and I, I thought about this for a while and I was thinking about it for for a good notion of uh, you know who who would they use now, I don't want to see Joker, because we're kind of getting Jared Leto's Joker in, in uh, Suicide Squad, and it's already been established that he and Batman kind of already know each other, so, okay, let's let's move on from Joker, you know, Joker, yeah, Joker is kind of Batman's, you know, of course, but still, you know, he has a, such a rich rogues gallery we would want to see now. Being that this is Jeff Johns writing, co-writing it with Ben Affleck, I really want to see more of them go more of the supernatural, super-powered villains that can play more of the head games. And I, I want to see Scarecrow, but then I'm like, I don't necessarily think they could pull off Scarecrow to the the point of where I want Scarecrow to be. You know, the video games and animation seem to know how to get Jonathan Crane down really well. You know, and they tried with Nolan's Scarecrow, but even still, I, I looked at him and I'm like, you know, he still was easily could be taken down. You know, it was like, just get him and turn his turn his uh his toxin his his fear gas against him, you know, or just smash his <laughs> smash his head into the wall, uh, you know, if you want. But personally, with me, Clayface. I think Clayface would work. I would love to see Clayface done. Um, maybe the Riddler. I would love to see the Riddler get another chance, uh, where we get to see more of the, you know, the, the detective side of the of uh, Batman. Uh, people keep saying Hush. Uh, you know, Hush. Okay. Uh, maybe another a really badass Mister Freeze. You know, uh, a real maybe a better Poison Ivy. You know, don't get me wrong. You know, Uma Uma tried, but I want to see the real Ivy. You know, that that Ivy that is n no joke. You know, is like you know this is somebody you don't want to screw around with. Uh, can't do Croc because Croc is already in Suicide Squad. And, um, man, back. Man Bat, yeah, Man Bat would be pretty good. I would love to see Man Bat. Uh, Bane. I would like another crack at Bane, honestly. Uh, the real Bane, like the the you know who's with the venom, you know that Bane, you know not not just <laughs> just not that Bane, but. It's all right, but those are a couple of characters. There's others, but yeah, I would like to see those. But other than that, we finally get a notion of what the the reboot, and this is the other thing, is the reboot Green Lantern uh, that's going to be going around, that's coming out as well. Uh, no longer will it just be called Green Lantern, it's called the Green Lantern Corps. And we all were he hearing from the grapevine that they may go that route, uh, that it may not just be focused on Hal Jordan, that it may focus on very many Green Lantern, and I'm I'm all for this. Uh, 
somebody said, I think it was IGN that said, these companies are now noticing that these team, team movies, superhero movies, seen the work, are working. Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers, you know, uh, yeah, X Men, yeah, things like that. These are working. So you know, and look, look what DC, DC's already coming out with their first team, you know, uh, movie, Suicide Squad. You know, it's it may be a villains, but it's a team. So why not do the Green Lantern Corps? So we not just see Green Hal Jordan. You know, you know, we see John Stewart. Hopefully, hopefully for me, you know, I know people want to see. Guy Gardner, I want to see Kyle. You know, I I don't like that Kyle does not get a lot of credit, and I'm like, you know, and who knows, you know, if John's maybe helped writing it, then he may even push for Simon Boz. We don't know. We don't even know who's the Human Green Lantern. Gun. But the fact is, that would be really cool to do the Green Lantern Corps, and then you have Green Lantern on the Justice League. Who says it has to be Hal Jordan? It could be Kyle Rayner. It could be John Stewart. You know, both of those Green Lanterns have been a part of the Justice League, so why not? Uh, so I'm I'm very happy about that. It is going to be the Green Lantern Corps or just Green Lantern Corps. You know, uh, hopefully we get to see the, you know the the aliens, the famous alien Green Lanterns, but also maybe build up or maybe set the tone for you know a certain big-headed pink alien going to the yellow side you know <laughs> something like that uh, <laughs> sorry my brother <laughs> uh, you know hopefully we don't just see you know stick the ring finger on or ring on and you just yellow and nothing comes out of it you know it's, you know, it's more of like it it's building up you know like we we're seeing Sinestro becoming if he's in it but other than that uh, once again good stuff coming out of you know movie versions you know the the cinematic universe of uh, of uh, DC you know and I'm very happy about that really good Really good indeed. You know, I'm glad to see the DC Cinematic Universe. They're starting to they're they're starting to make some moves now. They're making some moves, and you know, you know, basically now, you know, Marvel won't be so lonely on top of the mountain. It'll have they have somebody to talk to now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you don't always want you don't want to be the king of the mountain by yourself. You want to have people up there with you. So, you know, it's like you know, we that Marvel looking down and you see DT, DC and they're it's like you know, can't wait to get up here you know it's like so we can talk you know we can have we can go back and forth for you. you know that movie was good yeah and that yours was good too and oh yeah yours was good yeah you know stuff like that you know that that's how I look at it you know it's it's I don't look at it as you know like oh DC Marvel you know things like that I, I want to see them both succeed and as always Good competition. It's always good. It's healthy. But uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff indeed. But uh, that's on to the next. Yeah. So I'll see you guys soon.